Hi there and welcome from myself, Stevo, to the Classic Car Show. As well as cars and bikes and buses, there's all kinds of things here at the show. So today we're actually going to have a look back over the last 10 years or so, just a quick skim over the surface and we'll have a quick look at military vehicles at the show and uh, the uh, Land Rover One Association are well represented as well as the ex-military service Land Rovers Association and there's quite a variety of vehicles here even some American that you can have a look at as well Hello everybody, mums and dads, boys and girls Right, let's go back to 2008 Classic Car Show with the ultimate all-terrain vehicle these were absolute giants and this is one of the reasons that if you can make it to the show yourself you can have a good look round these and study them for yourself. It's Land Rover Heaven by the way and here's the first of many and this comes from the ex-military Land Rover Association. The 2.5 ton 6x6 truck from the 17th Armoured Engineer Battalion US and this vehicle with the machine gun housed in the turret, heavily armed plated. From the First World War, I think. If you have any comments, post them below for me. No prizes for guessing what this is. Of course it's a Land Rover, but from the Troubles in Northern Ireland. And here we go, the machine gun carrier and motorbike. Now there's absolutely no protection for driver or machine gun operator at all here. And one of the reasons that you'll see the poppies on many of the displays is the Classic Car Show is held in November and also over the uh, Sunday, Remembrance Sunday. So if you are ever at the show when the clock chimes 11, you'll note that everybody pays their respects to those who passed in the Great War, World War II and many other campaigns. Right, Steve-O's out in the hall somewhere. I hope he's found something interesting. Steve-O! Hi, this is a good stand. It's uh, all dedicated to like World War stuff. A lot of commemoration uh, about the cars and whatnot. I think you'll enjoy it. We'll take a look around and uh, you can tell me what you think. The detail and authenticity of many of these displays really puts a lump in your throat. And this uh, article here from the Great War, the First World War. Right, where's all those Land Rovers that you uh, were told about? Well, here they are. Many of these are from the Series 1 Club of Land Rovers. Now, if anybody's ever stayed near a military base or a naval dockyard, you'll be used to seeing the RMPs, the Royal Military Police, driving about. Moving on, this is the Land Rover Minerva. Minerva Land Rovers are Series 1 Land Rovers exported from Solihull as CKD kits to Belgium and assembled there by the new Minerva company with locally produced bodywork. Between 1952 and 1956, about 8,080-inch vehicles were supplied to the Belgian Army. This is one of the 36 para Minervas, of which there are two in the UK, adapted from a 1954-built standard 80-inch Minerva. It was fitted with three FN.762 light machine guns, two forward and one aft. The running gear is Land Rover Series 1, with Siamese War 2-litre engine. It weighed about 3.2 tonnes and has a Bendix brake servo inserted behind the twin fuel tanks. There was provision for carrying 4,500 rounds of ammunition. Oh, this is great. A display within a display. <laughs> it's actually uh, representing a piece of unexploded ordnance. This is a 1960 Series 2 Land Rover, the Royal Review Vehicle. The vehicle has spent most of its life in the Middle East, serving in Jordan, Aden and Cyprus. In 1993, the Queen rode in the back at the Commonwealth Heads of Government Conference in Cyprus. And from the ex-military Land Rover Association, we've got something, I would guess actually from the Gulf War, echoes of yesteryear. And you can see the tracks attached to the side of the vehicle. And if you're joining us for the first time, welcome aboard. And to all our regular viewers, great to have you back with us. Anyway, welcome to SLR TV. My name's Gregory, I'm the boss here. And uh, I think what we'll do actually is uh, we'll visit that piece of unexploded ordnance again. Yeah, I 
the shit. And if you haven't subscribed, could I just remind you to subscribe to the channel and thank you for your support. Anyway, let's head back to Steve for now. But from myself, Gregory, see ya. And that concludes our quick look over some military vehicles attending the classic car show. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time from myself, Steve, on SLR TV. Bye for now.